1157, Henry II of England was blessed with the birth of his third son, Richard. Slightly worried about the succession after his first son died in childhood, he now had two male children to be his heir in despair, and with the kingdom inheritance set to primogeniture, he didn't have to worry about his realm splitting on his death. Richard, despite being born in England, was educated as a Norman, as the melting pot event hadn't yet fired. With this cultural difference, it's no surprise that after his childhood, young Richard spent much of his time outside of England, preferring to rule from his continental holdings which he gained in 1170. Henry II had become worried at the negative opinion modifiers ruining his son's attitude towards him. The notification at the top of the screen telling him he had unlanded sons was also grating at him, so he gave away some of his domain to Henry the Young, his now eldest son, and Richard himself. Henry the Young was given the Duchy of Normandy, along with the counties of Anjou and Maine, while Richard was given the Duchy of Aquitaine at the bright young age of 13. Henry II seemed quite happy to risk his second son being educated by a moron, which was luckily not the case. Richard managed to avoid marrying some baron's bastard daughter as well, and instead arranged a marriage alliance with the Kingdom of Navarre. Henry II also acquired papal claims for a couple of duchies in Ireland, and gave some of these holdings to his younger son John, who had spent much of his early reign dealing with the Robin Hood event chain. However, Henry II had forgotten about young Henry's ambitious trait, and had committed the greatest error. He had given him too much land. With half of France to draw an army from, he formed a faction to place himself on his father's throne. Why he couldn't just wait his turn, history does not know, but Richard joined his faction too. Feeling confident in the strength of his allies in France, Scotland and the Netherlands, young Henry fired the decision to claim his father's throne. The elder Henry refused to give it up, and the sons rebelled against their royal father. To face this rebellion, Henry II hired all the mercenary companies he could, raising a doom stack of 20,000 men. He easily crushed his sons' armies and ended their rebellion. Part of the peace agreement meant that Richard was given adequate reason to imprison his vassals without a tyranny modifier, which he did. On one occasion, a baron revolted, and Richard crushed him, earning him the nickname the Lionheart, by which he is still known. Apparently having a taste for battle, Richard formed his own faction to seize the throne for himself. Both Henrys, the king and the heir, attempted to crush his rebellion while Richard's own vassals revolted against him. In this struggle, Henry the Young was killed, making Richard the heir to the throne. However, the conflict did not end there, as Henry II attempted to revoke the Duchy of Aquitaine from Richard and give it to John, which is younger brother. Hostilities continued until Richard defeated his father at the Battle of Balans in 1188, where Henry II was forced to nominate Richard as his heir. He died just two days later, of natural causes, making Richard the King of England. In 1189, the Pope called a crusade for Jerusalem, the Third Crusade. Both Richard and Philip II, King of France, became the two highest ranking crusader kings who led the majority of the expedition. Notably, the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick Barbarossa drowned in a river while travelling to the Levant. To fund this crusade, Richard borrowed heavily from the Jews, and then expelled them from the kingdom, netting him a substantial amount of gold. He also sold positions of authority, and charged those already in these positions a fortune to keep them. His Chancellor, William Longchamp, paid £3,000 to keep his job. On the way to the Holy Land, Richard's fleet was damaged in a storm, and some of the ships were grounded on the shore of Cyprus. Many of the survivors were imprisoned by the ruler of Cyprus, Isaac Komnenos. Richard landed troops and demanded they be freed, but Isaac declined. Not being called the Lionheart for nothing, Richard conquered the island with some help from other crusaders. Isaac was imprisoned with silver chains, as Richard had promised him that he would not be placed in irons. The island of Cyprus was granted to the Knights Templar, netting Richard a couple hundred points of piety. Having just stolen a Byzantine duchy with barely any effort, Richard married the previously mentioned Princess of Navarre, and continued on to the Holy Land. The King of England aided in the capture of Acre, at one point shooting guards with a crossbow when sick and being carried on a stretcher. After a dispute with his allies, Philip II of France and Leopold of Austria, who was the highest ranking Holy Roman Empire leader on the Crusade, after the Emperor went for a swim, they left Richard alone in the Holy Land. After numerous battles, both the Crusader forces and the armies of Saladin reached a stalemate, and a white peace was signed between them. The conflict mostly over, Richard began his journey home, but his ship was wrecked near Aquileia. Leopold of Austria, having taken the intrigue focus, plotted to abduct and imprison Richard, after the king had dishonoured his banner on the walls of Acre, and also possibly had his cousin murdered, but whatever, the flag meant a lot to him. As Richard had the Crusader trait and had given Cyprus to the Templars, the Pope had a high opinion of him, and excommunicated both Leopold and the Holy Roman Emperor in response to his imprisonment. The Emperor, never really on good terms with the Pope anyway, wasn't overly vexed, and refused to release Richard until a ransom had been paid. With Richard's release, his brother John, who had finally finished the Robin Hood event chain, was forgiven for his rebellious behaviour and made the heir. Richard spent the rest of his reign building castle holdings in Normandy, and making war on his former crusader ally Philip II. It was during one of these wars that Richard would meet his end. In the famous story, Richard was shot with a crossbow by a young boy, becoming maimed in the process. Ever charitable, Richard pardoned the boy, and even gave him a gift of gold. Ignoring the fact that the boy was executed horribly once the king died, the prestige of his reign helped his brother and heir, John, secure his early reign. He later oversaw the collapse of the Angevin Empire and the rise of France, but following a ruler such as the Lionheart, it's difficult to measure up. 
I hope you've enjoyed this brief retelling of Richard the Lionheart's life. I originally intended it to be a special project for my 100th video, but it'll have to be my 101st video instead. I've taken plenty of license with the details of his life to either fit reality with the mechanics for CK2, or vice versa, but most of the information in this video is actually correct, and all the people mentioned are in the game. I'm considering making a semi-regular series out of this, so if anyone has any suggestions for someone who led an interesting life, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.